Okay, it is uh, 6 o'clock, and I'll call this October 20th, 2015 meeting of the Andalusia City Council to order and ask you to join Councilman Griffin as she leads us in the prayer and Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Dear Father, we come to you tonight asking for your grace and mercy. Father, we pray for our nation. Fill our leaders with strength and wisdom and, and ask our leaders that they would follow you. Create in us a clean heart and a steadfast spirit. Humble our hearts before you. Help us to have the desire to follow you, not just for a little while, but for daily. Father, our prayer for this city council is that we ask you to lead us to make the decision that would be best for our city. Father, we ask all of this in your son's precious name. Amen. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, I'd like to welcome our guest with us tonight. We're always happy to have those uh, of you who want to come and visit us on our city council meetings to come and be a part of it. Uh, we meet on the first and third Tuesdays of each month with five o'clock starting upstairs at five with a workshop and then down here at six with the regular uh, regular meeting. When I say down here, I mean in the, in the council chambers. Uh, council members, the first item of business tonight is to consider approval and adoption of the minutes of our October 6th meeting. Mr. Mayor, I make that motion that we accept the minutes of October the 6th. All right, we have a motion by Ms. Griffin. Do we have a second? I second the motion. Second by Mr. Mount. Any further discussion? All in favor of approving those minutes as presented, please indicate by raising your right hand. And the minutes are approved. And I thank you for that. Uh, we had a, a visitor at our five o'clock workshop. Uh, uh, Reverend Cindy Howard came and made a presentation on the Bethesda House, which is a uh, house that will be used uh, to offer uh, places of security for uh, people who might be involved in some sort of domestic violence situations. Uh, that house, that, that facility has been closed in Covington County now for uh, a number of years, I guess. It's been years, uh, uh, maybe two years or more, and uh, this group uh, has come together and reorganizing that and putting that uh, back together and they came to give us a, a report. We also presented them with a proclamation declaring uh, October is uh, as a domestic violence awareness month in Covington County and or in Andalusia. So we welcomed them and glad they were able to come and, and bring us up to date on Bethesda House. Uh, first item under new business is to consider a approving uh, execution of an inmate house contract with the Covenant County, uh, the Covenant County Commission and the Sheriff's Department. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve the agreement with the county for the housing of municipal inmates. All right, uh, the, the motion is to approve uh, the agreement and authorize its execution. Uh, do we have a second? I second. We have a motion and a second. Do we have any further discussion? <clears throat> All in favor of adoption of the motion, then please indicate by raising your right hand. And that carries, and I thank you for that. Our next uh, item to consider is approval of a, another contract with the Covenant County Commission, and this is for our providing the county with uh, uh, homeless animals or, or animal shelter uh, provisions and we this contract is we've been operating without a contract now for a couple of years and uh, this is a new contract that would provide that the county pays to the city the sum of fifteen thousand dollars a year uh, for bringing uh, 
animals into the, the uh, animal, the city animal shelter. So I would, uh, and this is a year by year uh, contract as well. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion that we approve the animal shelter contract that's with the Covenant County. Okay, we have a motion to approve this contract. Do we have a second? I second the motion. Second by Mr. Mount. Any further discussion? Uh, I'll just point out to you what we're approving here is our act action of signing the contract, and we will have to send this on to the county for them to execute. All right, with, those, with that explanation, uh, all those in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that is unanimous. Thank you for that. We have a, a roof, uh, roofing issue at the fire department downtown. Uh, we've had uh, some patches that we've tried to apply to the roof to stop some leaking, and that the patching has not been successful. And so uh, they have uh, brought a proposition to us that we that we apply. Uh, some new material to this roof uh, that, that we can we can apply with our own uh, forces using some equipment that we have, but we have to buy the material. The material costs ninety two hundred and forty dollars, uh, and that would be at Sharon Williams, and we would have to uh, uh, take this money from our contingency since it was not a budgeted <coughs> item. Mr. Mayor, I motion make a motion that. For the fire department maintenance, $9,240 to come from contingency. All right. You heard the motion. Do we have a second? I second. All right. We have a second. Any further discussion? All in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that is approved. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, we have two abatements, uh, uh, a resolution to uh, declaring two properties uh, for abatement. Uh, one is a 405 Op Avenue, and the other is an empty lot on King Street. Uh, these, again, are weeds and grasses. Uh, it's not a building abatement, but weeds and grasses. So I'm, I, I recommend to you that we adopt this resolution as 2015-58. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion that we approve resolution 2015-58 as written in the Commented by you. All right. We have a, a motion to adopt the resolution. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Powell. Any further discussion? All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Any opposed? And that carries. <laughs> uh, moving right along with next uh, resolution is resolution 2015-59 uh, uh, is the golf cart, cart bid results. Uh, the bid results that uh, has been recommended to us is a bid from Yamaha uh, for a 36-month bid in the amount of $39,270, and that's for 21 carts. Uh, so uh, that was recommend, recommended to you, a 36-month lease. Uh, that's so that $39,270 is over a 36-month period. Okay. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion that we adopt resolution to 2015-59 uh, in, in lieu of 21 golf carts, at least from Yamaha, the amount of uh, $39,270. Okay. Have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Second by Mr. Powell. Any further discussion or questions on this? All in favor of adopting the resolution, please indicate by raising your right hand. And any opposed? I, I think that's unanimous. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, we have an item of, of equipment that we need to purchase for uh, or approve for purchasing for the Public Works Department. This is a backhoe that will be purchased off the state uh, bid list, plus or minus 80, uh, $89,000. And this is just to be a straight out purchase uh, for that amount, again, off the state bid list so it qualifies. We don't have to go out for bids on it. And, uh, we will keep the old backhoe as a substitute or extra uh, for parts or whatever we need it for. Uh, because of its age, we wouldn't get very much for it if we sold it, so we're just gonna keep it and use it. It's still still operable, but uh, it needs to be replaced for full-time service. So uh, I recommend to you that we approve the 89,000 plus or minus dollars uh, to be taken from our capital uh, 
uh, reserve fund. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion that we accept the uh, purchase of the 89410 for a backhoe from Caterpillar and make sure that it comes out of our capital fund. All right, we have a motion by Mr. Wells. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Powell. Any further discussion? All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that carries, and I thank you for that. Uh, we'll point out that uh, we're considering purchasing uh, two other pieces of equipment for the uh, for the public, uh, for the uh, street department and uh, public works department, and that is a, that is a uh, Caterpillar uh, tractor uh, and a loader. Uh, but we have several different uh, issues related to how that would be paid for, whether or not we want to lease it, for how, what period of time. Uh, we have uh, uh, all of the background information on that, but we just hadn't had time to review it enough to make a recommendation to the council. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to pass that over and look at those two additional pieces of equipment in the not too distant future when we've had time to review all of the, the, the data concerning that. Okay. Uh, we have uh, an appointment to be made to the library board and uh, the sitting uh, member of the board whose term just rolled off is Ms. Nancy Hammett and she has uh, reapplied and asked to uh, be reappointed. She's done a, she's been a faithful uh, member of that board and uh, has a lot, of, a lot of interest in the library and has done a good job. So I would recommend to you that we reappoint uh, Ms. Nancy Hammett uh, to the library board. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion that we reappoint Nancy Hammett to the library board. Okay. Do we have a second? A second. All right. We have a second. Any other nominations? Hearing none, all in favor of Nancy Hammett, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that, uh, too, is unanimous. Thank you for that. That's all of the business that I have to come before the council tonight. Uh, does any member of the board have, uh, any member of the council have anything that you need to take up, or that we need to take up? Hearing nothing, we will stand adjourned. Oh, excuse me, it's the third day of November. We would like to recommend that we move that meeting to Monday of that week, which is the second day of November. Just move it forward one day. Rather than doing it on Tuesday, we do it on Monday. The, the, do the council members feel like that's something you can accommodate? Uh, what date was that now? Second. The second of November, moving the meeting from the third of November to the second of November, from Tuesday to Monday. Same hours as we do now. Okay, could we have a, a motion to do that? So moved. All right, do we have a second? Second. Any other discussion? All in favor of moving the meeting then to the 2nd of November, same, same times as far as the hour on the clock is concerned, please indicate by raising your right hand. Okay, thank you for that. We are now adjourned.